today we're making bread using nothing but solar power here in the forest kitchen at my off-grid cabin. Hello everyone, my name is Russell and we're here at my off-grid cabin at Raspberry Rock. And today we're going to make bread. Now you guys know me, you might know me for several things. Maybe for wearing socks with sandals. You might know me for having a nice refreshing beer every now and then. You also might know me for making fun of myself quite often. I think when a lot of people think of living off grid, they're thinking of going back to the stone ages, of washing your clothes by hand, or sowing the fields with grain, or raising your own pigs, chickens, cows, and elephants. Um, but I'm not like that. I like amenities. I really like amenities which is why you'll see me with a coffee maker here and a microwave. Anything that makes my life easier is something I will applaud, like this. So when I say I'm making bread with solar power, I'm doing it the easy way, with this. Now, my forest kitchen, as you can see, handcrafted by craftsmen, I'm sure nobody would actually call me a craftsman, that's just what I'm saying. It's very well designed, except I, I wasn't thinking of a, a bread maker when I designed it. So my first step is to actually find a spot for it here. And there we go. Pretty stable, unless it falls down. In which case, it, it wasn't so stable. So the bread maker is really easy to use. Maybe I'll just move the coffee maker for now. Good. So it's set up well there, but it's a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to give it some extra support. I'm going to use this ratchet strap here. there so we're not restricting the lid now inside this take a quick look so it's a regular size pan and it comes with two flippers like so okay and now for the solar power solar power is really easy to use when you can just plug it in like that. We start with two and a quarter cups of water. One half of skim milk powder, like your mother might use. One and a half teaspoons of salt, like you might use if you were doing tequila shots. One third of a cup of brown sugar. One quarter cup of shortening. Five cups of flour. One and a quarter teaspoon of bread machine yeast. Now, what is yeast, you might ask? Well, if you're thinking some of something like a yeast infection, this is not that. This is not that at all. Completely different. And now I will read from the bread machine Bible. I'm going for a two and a half pound loaf, medium. So, it has three separate stages. Uh, a knead, stage, a rise stage, and a bake stage. So this one will be 3 minutes of knead, 15 minutes of knead, 45 minutes of rise, 20 seconds of knead, 30 minutes of rise, excuse me, 37 minutes of rise, 10 seconds of knead, 30 minutes of rise, 70 minutes of bake, and 60 minutes of keep warm. We're using a program of one, press color of medium, 
and loaf size of two and a half. So it is all set, and now we just press go. There is three hours and 20 minutes on the timer. We are currently in need stage. These stages will go back and forth from need to rise to need to rise to bake, etc. So the first knead stage is done, and now it's going to rise. Two twenty-four. One fifty-seven. And it's done. Mmm. And now that it's done, we can remove it from the machine that makes bread. Now, I wasn't here for most of the rest of the process because I had to go pick up my wife, um, but it's actually still quite warm. So there you have solar power bread cooked at an off-grid cabin. Once your bread is cooked, you can do whatever you like with it. I prefer to eat my bread. Mm. With butter. It's delicious. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe and shit. I will see you on the next video at Raspberry Row. One quarter cup of shortening. Shit! Oh. Oh. Oh.